Surfboard fins have a major influence on how you and your surfboard perform together. Sure, there's magic in the surfboard design, but it's the fins that brings that magic to life. So we're gonna check in with some of the world's best surfers and chat to them about their preferred fin templates. Today, we're catching up with one of the most revered longboarders on the planet, Matt Chinoski. Matt has an incredible quiver of surfboards and fins, and he is a wealth of hardware knowledge. Let's go. Matty, how are you? Good, buddy. Thanks for having us in the, uh, in the garage, mate. This is incredible. What a collection of boards. Thanks, yeah. It's unfortunately not a lot of people get to check them out, and they're still growing, too. Yeah, well, I hope not. You've got so many boards here, but uh, a lot of boards. I can't help but notice there's a lot of fins here as well. You're obviously one of the most knowledgeable when it comes to long boards and uh, your hardware. When did you really start diving into the fins and the setups and all that stuff? When I started nose diving on vintage long boards when I was at 12 years old. Okay. Figured out these good old boards and there's really, really bad old boards too. And uh, fins had a huge and integral part of that evolution. Absolutely. Well, I, I think the best place to start is with your new signature fin with FCS, the new wax head fin. I was struggling to have a neutral fin with all these different styles of boards, square tails, pin tails, diamond tails, and I wanted something that had neutral flex and a pretty adaptable uh, outline that I could put in anything from 8.6 to 9.6 and not worry about bringing a quiver of fins on a trip. I could bring two or three boards and that one fin could overlap to those three boards, and this is the end product. I'm really happy with it. So is it essentially a performance longboard fin or more of a traditional style of a fin or is it kind of a bit of everything? Yeah, it's, it's a little bit of everything, this fin. It really intertwines between performance and traditional and it's good for the everyday surfer too. Uh, it sounds like an amazing selling point, but at the end of the day, people can overcomplicate equipment a lot. For me, this just overlaps. I've surfed it from Malibu to Noosa to the bombies locally and down at Bells, beach breaks, and the fin has also won a couple of world titles for longboarding and been up there, you know, a couple of duct tape wins as well, so the fin's been around. Awesome stuff. When you talk about the ideal fin for you, let's just talk about your style of longboarding. My surfing's accentuating the glide and the trim, and I use the middle of the board as my reference point, and I step back on the tail for necessary turns to get me back in the pocket. Uh, I don't need small side bites to direct myself. I'm using the rail and I'm using the, the trim of the board. The single fin will only help me turning and nose riding. And this fin allows me to do both neutrally. It doesn't get in the way when I'm turning and it doesn't uh, slide out when I'm nose riding. So it's what I call a neutral uh, longboard fin and it's good for sort of one to six feet, pin tails, square tails, diamonds, but most of all, it's pretty much for my body weight, people maybe 10, 20 kilos up and maybe 20 kilos under. That'll suit anything from maybe 8.6 to 9.6. So it's just such a variable design that'll overlap to a lot of different boards. I noticed in your mid-length here, you've put in the Christensen single fin, which is clearly got more of a tapered tip compared to yours. Nine point five inches, and in this board I could run the Christensen eight point five or the nine point five. It's a little under volumed this fin for my longboard, so it's a little too small. Mid length works perfect. Uh, it, it sort of balances out the edge and the responsiveness of this board. It's got a little bit of V, but it's glass quite light, so I find the board quite squirty in nature. So I put a slightly bigger fin in with this rake, so when I drive through a turn. I'm not sliding out, I want to sort of fall back onto my heels, save the turn and come back off on my toes and high line as I progress forward. And it does have moderate flex, this fin, so it allows me to come off the bottom, similar to what happens with a two plus one setup, double concave and edge, where you're thrusting off the bottom, but with a single fin, it's more of a cleaner, truer line. And I'm using that fin for projection. I'm actually projecting down the line with this flex and this rake. For me, that's a fantastic mid-length fin. 
I could overlap it with a longboard, but I'm 75 kilos and I find a lot of people, even at 60 kilos and 85 kilos, are using my fin in a longboard quite proficiently and you wouldn't really want to go too much smaller than 10 inches. I couldn't help but notice uh, one of your uh, other mid-lengths had the H4s in it, the H4 thruster set up. Yeah, that's right. Uh, how did that feel? Well, how about we grab that too? Let's do it. That would be the mid-length version of this longboard. Okay, cool. On a thruster mid-length or a two plus one, when you come off the bottom, you have to remember you do have seven feet plus of rail and you have to be mindful that you can't just go vertical on the board because it's got to come back down again. You need to allow that space. Yeah. This board did it uh, with these fins. It really wanted to come through and, and just wanted to follow my body and I didn't have to cut the short turn short. I actually went up in the lift, yeah, popped it through, came back down again. There was no recoil or having to wind up speed, which is so common on a single fin or a two plus one, uh, or even a quad for that matter, where you have to reset your line to keep moving. This was instant at the same time as driving. It was, cool. it was neutral. It was a great feeling. It's trying to keep that flow. And that's FCS has allowed me to explore those different boards and use this different equipment to the best of my ability from literally well, two to 20 feet now. So and that's the, the journey I'm on, surfing all boards, all waves, and feeling the connection with the mind, the body, board and fins. We've got plenty of boards to choose from and the report tells us there are a few little waves around. So Maddie, thanks for having us in the garage here with all your equipment. Let's go surfing. Sweet. Sweet.